Yo, what's good, y'all? So I told y'all that this was going to happen, that there's going to be black people coming out defending Jerry Jones. And I'm going to just do one video like this. I'm not going to be like, every time somebody defends Jerry Jones, I'm going to drop another video because it's going to be a lot. This is just the tip of the iceberg. So on ESPN's first take on Friday, Stephen A. Smith came out and said how he was disgusted that a hit piece came out from the Washington Post that showed a picture of Jerry Jones from 65 years ago saying that this is the reason why he don't hire black coaches. This is one of those videos is going to tell you that, uh, what is that, how do you say it? Uh, both things can be true. That's what this video is going to be about. So in this video, I'm going to play the clip of Stephen A. Smith speaking about Jerry Jones. Then I'm going to give you my takes on it. If you want to see the full clip, I think it's on Stephen A. Smith's Twitter page. So I'll put a link in that in the description box so you, can, so you guys can check it out in its entirety. So I'm going to play this clip right here so you guys can have some context and understanding on what Stephen E. Smith is coming from. And I'll give you my take on it. So let's go. I'm pretty pissed off. And let me say this. <clears throat> I'm pissed off, but not for reasons that people would think. I'm very, very fond of Jerry Jones. And I'm not hiding that from anybody. Is his record perfect? No. But I'm pissed off because he doesn't deserve what just happened. He doesn't deserve it. One report, our report said he was 14 years old. Another report said he was 15 years old. At minimum, that's 65 years ago. You're gonna bring up a picture of Jerry Jones standing at this protest. No question. What was happening is not something that anybody as a black person should be appreciative about. We had six students at that particular North Little Rock High School that was trying to desegregate the school. No one should it be was, okay it, with it, it. Nobody should be okay with that. Regardless of We race. understand that. We get all of that. We also understand what we as black people and as black folks, black men have to deal with. And by the way, to some degree, we still deal with a lot of things and we all know it. Racism is alive and well. Bigotry and prejudice is alive and well. We get all of that. But you gonna bring up a photo of him yeah. when he was 14, 15 years old, 65 or 66 years ago. We, this is, this is where cancer culture gets into the mix and you're making an attempt to eradicate him, what he stands for, and all he has done. And by the way, I don't have a problem with the photo. I don't have a problem. If he was 30, 35, 40 years old, that's different. Right. 14, 15 years old, 14, 15 years old. Right. But we're gonna lean on somebody when he was 14, born and raised in the South, and we're gonna pick it up 66 years <laughs> later to say, you know something? Yeah. You ain't hire a black coach. I think that's pretty low. I really, really do. I think that's, I think that part is pretty low. If he were an adult, yeah. that would be different. But a 14, 15 yeah. year old kid raised in the South who literally is just standing there yeah. looking and we use that to bring up in the year 2022. All right, so you heard Stephen A. See what he had to say. Like I said, man, two things could be right. It is pretty, like, what he's saying is that it's pretty low that they brought up a picture from 65 years ago to saying that this is why his hiring practices and he's a racist or whatever, right? That is pretty low to bring up a picture from 65 years ago. And that picture really don't have context to prove that Jerry Jones was racist. He was just there, right? And we did forgive joe biden for all the racist things he said and we voted him as president so you know what i'm saying i guess people could change right that's what people told me about joe biden even though joe biden mentor was a grand wizard in the kkk stephen a smith saying this is saying that he's a sellout like i said two things can be true the, the, the problem with the stephen a smith is this he's known to rob black athletes a lot harder for situations for a lot less i.e Kyrie Irving, you know what I'm saying? He, he he wrote that until he realized his fan, the, the core base of the NBA is black folks and people start now pulling away and he had to get back on board because ESPN got the rights to the NBA and 
also ESPN got the rights to NFL. So he has to try to change narratives for people when they get into situations, when they get too hot and maybe it could affect ratings. But he's right in this sense. It is the fact that you are here slandering black athletes at any chance you get. And when you do that, something like this is going to have you looking like this. Oh, oh, shit. Shit. Oh, and when you look like that, people are not going to respect you. And it's a shame. It's a damn shame. For the record again, man, to, to bring up a picture of Jerry Jones when he was 14 years old to describe what he's doing now 65 years ago or 65 years ahead that's messed up. It is messed up. But like I said, there's going to be a lot of black athletes, black, I guess, you know, talk show hosts. I thought it was going to be Michael Irvin first on ESPN first take on Monday, but Stephen A. Smith got ahead of it. And Stephen, A. Smith, like I said, what he said is not wrong. It's not wrong. But it's the fact that it's coming from Stephen A. Smith, a man who criticized black athletes at a higher standard than he does white athletes. Let's put an example for the shot. The same smoke he had for Kyrie Irving for the shot, he did not have for Aaron Rodgers. He didn't have for Aaron Rodgers. And Aaron Rodgers kind of said in a way that he's not getting the shot. But Kyrie just said, I'm not getting the shot in plain, simple English. But those, those are just some examples of why people don't rock with Stephen A. Smith when it comes to this type of stuff. But what are y'all thoughts on this, man? What are y'all thoughts on Stephen A. Smith now coming to defend Jerry Jones? Like I said, he's right in this sense. You know what I'm saying? I do think cancel culture is a problem. Like, I, I, I truly feel like this. When it came to that Jerry Jones picture, somebody had that picture for a long time. Somebody was extorting Jerry Jones for that picture, said, we're going to release this picture. If you keep paying us, and he probably said, I'm tired of paying y'all. Jerry Jones is closer to not living than he is living. You see what I'm saying? Like, he's he's getting he's getting it up in age. So he's probably like, I'm not paying y'all no more for this stupid ass picture. And, and, and if you had that picture, if you seen that picture, you came across that picture, you wouldn't even think to look to see who's the people in these pictures, unless you knew, unless you was using that picture for something. That is a bigger story, but I'm not getting into that. But that's a, that's another story that could be a whole other video that who is the person who owned this picture? You feel me? But I digress on that. Stephen A. Smith definitely is the wrong messenger, I guess, for this message, but is on brand for Stephen A. Smith to give this message and say what he said, if that makes sense. But let me know how you feel about that in the comments, man. I'll meet you guys down there. Are you guys surprised that Stephen A. Smith was the one to come out to defend Jerry Jones? I'm not. Not surprised. I just thought it would have been Michael Irvin first on first take on Monday. But, you know, he ain't get there yet. It's a hot topic, hot story. They probably brought it up and he had to speak about it. You know what I'm saying? But like I said before, man, I don't think it's a big deal with this picture. In my opinion, I really think that there's a lot of NFL players or NFL personnel going to come out in support of Jerry Jones because say what you want about the NFL. NFL has made a lot of black millionaires and these black millionaires are going to be loyal to the people who's paying them. Let's be real. So those are my thoughts, man. I appreciate you guys. Tom. All right, man. Till next time. Peace. Real Rap Ron is signing off. All right. Later. One.